wanted that? You ready for the answer? Nobody knows. All right, but scientists do have a couple different theories of why they have such a unique head, and that head shape right there is one that you don't see pretty much anywhere else in the animal kingdom. So scientists are pretty baffled about why they look like that. A couple main theories, one of them, they have another great view of our hammerhead shark down there as well. One of the theories is that it provides them with a little more lift. It almost acts like an extra pair of fins as they're traveling long distance across the ocean. Another theory is that it actually helps them pinning down their prey. They hunt for things like stingrays and flatfish, and a general rule of thumb is animals don't like to eat, so they're usually going to try to fight back. So having their eyes as far away from their mouth as possible, it's going to protect those sensitive eyes. One of the main, uh, main theories is it's going to help them with one of the adaptations that a lot of sharks and rays have, something called ampullae of lorenzini, which sounds a lot like a pasta dish, but it's actually a sixth sense that we don't actually have. They're capable of detecting tiny electrical impulses that you'll find on any living thing. So scientists believe by stretching out that snout, they're going to increase that surface area for those ampullae. It's going to work almost like a metal detector whenever they're hunting for those items that are hiding down in the sand. Now, as great of a hunter as sharks might be, especially hammerhead sharks, they're often pursued by animals way more terrifying than a, the biggest and toothiest of sharks, and that's humans. Not only their fins, but they're also getting caught up in a lot of different fishing traps and things like that. So we're doing a lot of work right now, trying to find 